Robert Turbin, household name. Uh, you might think, oh, man, why, why is this significant at all? It's actually pretty significant. He's looking at a four-game suspension, um, and that is going to clear the way for one Marlon Mack and maybe a couple other guys for the Colts. So, Wolf, talk to us about this. Yeah, and you'd think it would be. That's what everybody keeps coming out now. Marlon Mack shooting up draft boards, Robert Turbin gone, Robert, you know, Marlon Mack, Marlon Mack, Marlon Mack. But ultimately, this is still going to be a committee. They've already come out and said this is a committee, even with or without Robert Turbin, the running back coach, noting we're going to play a lot of running backs. You're not going to have a bell cow, so to speak. A guy that's going to carry the load. We've got a lot of different styles. I think anytime you have a lot of different styles, you want to try to utilize that. So it's one more mouth out of there, but it's still three-headed nightmare at best. Yeah, Marlon Mack, probably the now best bet for early down work, um, has a chance to emerge and distance himself from the pack. But these comments, again, Frank Reich's history, don't tell me that he's going to suddenly just emerge and break the, the committee trends of Frank Reich's history. Um, even, you know, he, he's had some serious, talented backfields, and he loves to still share the work between them all. So what that tells me is, yes, Mac gets a little bit of a bump up, but I think people are going to be a little too aggressive with it. He's still not a guy I'm running out and targeting. Um, I still think Jordan Wilkins, the rookie, might be involved. He's a bit bigger, could be involved in the goal line. And the guy that I still love, you know, secretly most out of this backfield, I have Mark, Mac higher than this guy because he is the better bet for the other down touches. But the guy that I still think has the same role clarity, still can dominate, is our boy Naeem Hines. Uh, best pass catching back there. We know Andrew Luck, when he's healthy, loves targeting the pass catching backs. I think this is a team that's going to be in a lot of shootouts. We know Frank Reich, uh, back to Danny Woodhead, having 90 catch days under him, loves to use those type of gadgets out of the backfield. I still think Hines has that role on lock, even if Marlon Mack's a little bit more secure now. Um, I, I think it's still Hines for me is the guy that I'm really targeting considering the price is right now I think everyone's gonna be a little bit too aggressive on the Marlon Mack upgrades and it's not as big of a deal in my eyes um but I do love that they've upgraded the line so much as well too I just want to make that note Quentin Nelson apparently dominating in camp looking like a professional so many lines and upgrades that I do think this backfield is important I think it's use us worth us talking about it uh, but still being such a committee I'm going for the cheapest member and the guy with the clearest role and that's Naeem Hines in my eyes yeah and I actually agree with you 100% on all this stuff uh, and when the wolf says he kind of secretly likes Naeem Hines the most uh, by secretly he means he's been yelling on the internet for the past uh, <laughs> month or two that he likes Naeem Hines the most uh, check out the YouTube clips and so on uh, he's been pretty clear about that so yeah, yeah you know kind of uh, an open Open secret there.